Hey guys, I'm Greg Builds, and welcome to this Minecraft build tutorial. On this episode, we're going to create a modern townhouse building. And this modern style townhouse building has three floors, starting with the workshop on the first floor, as well as a number of doors, which give access to the backyard, the side yard, and a front door right by the garage. Then on the second floor, we have an elevated staircase. And this could be used as the main entrance for the house. And the second floor also features an overhanging addition to the side. Then on the third floor, there's vaulted ceilings. And that showcases the large upper windows. And there's even a third level upper deck. Now this build is broken down into nine steps. And without further ado, let's start the build. Now here's a complete list of the materials you'll need to build this townhouse. Also, this entire build project will require a 15 block by 17 block area spacing. And I marked my area with different color wool blocks. And this way, it'll help show how big the build is before we start. And this layout will also help orientate what is the front, back, left, and side of the house. Step 1. First, let's create the first level walls. We'll need 4 dark oak doors, 3 stone buttons, 101 stone brick blocks, 30 light blue glass panes, and 15 white wool blocks. To start, move back 4 spaces, then over 1 additional space. Then make a 4 tall column. Then add 12 additional blocks, making the row 13 blocks wide in total. Then make a column on this end, and connect at the 4th block up. Then leave 3 blocks of spacing, and add in another column. And make a repeat, leaving three blocks of spacing, then add in another column. Then let's fill in the openings with light blue glass panes. Next, let's work on the front. Move in a space from the stone brick wall, and make a five wide row out of white wool blocks. And make it three rows tall. And we can add three stone buttons to the front. Then let's add a four stone brick tall column. And connect at the top. Then let's add one extra block here and one over here. Then add in a door and we can add two stone brick blocks above that. Then three to the side of the door then two blocks, and then one. Now you can always add your front door on the inside, or you can place it from the back side. And placing the door from the inside of the wall will give an indented look just like this. Then leave three blocks of spacing. And we can add in a stone brick block. Then two stone brick blocks behind that, then three, and then four blocks. And I'll follow the same pattern design as the wall in front of it. Then let's add 8 additional blocks along the bottom. And we can add 3 blocks on top. Then connect the top row as well. And we can add in a 2x2 two two area at a glass panes. Then a column. And then we can repeat with four glass panes and a column. Then add a door in the middle with a block on top. Then let's finish the back wall. And we can add a row up top. And then we can make a ring of stone brick blocks with two glass panes in the middle. Then repeat for the other side. And we can add in a double door as well. Step 2. Next was to add the first level floor. 
the second level floor, and the upper entrance deck flooring. We'll need 6 stone brick blocks, 88 oak planks, 23 cobblestone blocks, 7 oak stairs, 12 quartz stairs, and 18 smooth quartz blocks. Inside the house, we can replace the first few rows of grass with cobblestone blocks. Then we can replace the rest of the flooring with oak planks. Now, you could always replace the whole bottom floor with cobblestone blocks instead, if you'd like to save some of your wood material. But I like the half cobblestone and wood floor look, so I'm going to keep with the two-tone theme. Also, don't forget to add in flooring blocks under the doors, and then reinstall the doors. Then we add a staircase, and start it one block over from the second back column. Then extend up for four stairs. Also, we can add upside down stairs to the back, and this will help add extra detail. Then we add in oak planks for flooring. Then where the column lines up, we can add in a stone brick row. Then let's add in smooth quartz stairs for a stairway. And we can add in smooth quartz blocks after that for the upper deck area. Step 3. Next up is the second floor walls. We'll need 18 quartz blocks, 2 dark oak doors, 121 gray concrete blocks, and 60 light blue glass panes. Next, at the intersecting point of the stone brick blocks, add a 9 tall gray concrete column. Then move in one space and make another 9 tall gray concrete column. Then we can repeat in the back with one column pushed into space. Then add in a 9 tall gray concrete column in this corner as well. Then at the 4th block up on the gray concrete, let's add a crossbeam all the way around. Then at the ninth concrete block up, we can connect all the way around as well. Then for the front wall, let's add blocks on either side, and a front door in the middle. And we can frame the door in as well. And we can add in light blue glass panes on either side. Then let's add glass panes up top for a large window. Then let's repeat at the back with a door and gray concrete around the door. Then windows at the sides, 
and a large window up top. Then at the side of the house, let's add a row of gray concrete that sits on top of the stone brick blocks. Then leave two blocks of space and make a column and extend this column all the way to the top. Then leave two blocks of space on the other side and extend up all the way to the top as well. Then let's fill the single wide opening with quartz blocks all the way to the top. And then we can alternate between quartz blocks and glass panes, making a unique window design. And we can repeat for the other side as well. Step 4. Next let's work on another wall section to the modern townhouse. We'll need one dark oak door, 61 light blue glass panes, 23 smooth quartz slabs, and 79 gray concrete blocks. To start, let's add 6 gray concrete blocks to the side. Then at the 5th gray concrete block up, we can add another 6 blocks of gray concrete next to that. Then connect them together. Then let's leave a space and make a column every other block. Then at the side of the house, let's continue the same pattern. Add 8 additional blocks. And this way it lines up with the back wall. Then let's add a row up top and connect them together at the end. Then add a column in every other space. And we can add in glass panes in between later on. Then let's do the same for the back. Then, in the center of the house, let's add a gray concrete crossbeam on top of the existing crossbeam. And this will make it two blocks thick in total. Then let's add a dark oak door in the middle, and make a frame around it with more gray concrete. Then add glass panes on either side. Then let's add a light blue glass pane railing on top of the gray concrete. And then we can add in smooth quartz slabs around the edge. Step 5. Next up is the flooring. We'll need 94 oak planks, 13 oak stairs, and 18 lanterns. Inside the house, let's add oak planks, and make sure this flooring is one block above the other floor.
and we can add three stars in the center. Then let's make a staircase. And this staircase will go above the other one and make it four treads tall in total. With upside down stairs along the back side. Then we need to add an oak plank floor. And we can add three stairs below the other door as well. And we can fill in the outside upper deck with oak planks. Then inside the house, we can add in more lanterns. And I like to keep my modern houses nice and bright inside. But you can always use as many lanterns or as little lanterns as you prefer. Step 6. Next let's build a roof. We'll need 99 smooth quartz slabs. Now, to build this roof, we're going to use smooth quartz slabs, and we can fill the entire top. But make sure there's one slab of overhang all the way around all the sides. Step 7. Next let's make the back balcony and support columns. We'll need 15 smooth quartz slabs, 2 stone brick blocks, 6 stone brick wall sections, and 9 light blue glass panes. Add a stone brick block. Then we can add 3 stone brick wall sections on top of that. Then let's repeat making a second support column. Then for the back balcony, add in 7 quartz slabs. Then we can add a row of 5 quart slabs after that. Then 3 slabs. Then let's add glass panes along the back of the balcony. Step 8. Next let's work on the front trim and decorative landscaping. We'll need 8 light blue glass panes, 24 iron trap doors, 44 spruce trap doors, 7 flower pots, 12 flowers, 46 oak leaves, 5 coarse dirt blocks, and 15 lanterns. Start this step with iron trap doors staggered over the doors. And we can add lanterns on either side of the doors. Then let's add light blue glass panes for a railing. 
and we can add in flower pots with flowers inside of them. And we can add additional flower pots along the stairway as well. Next, let's add in flower boxes down below. And we can add these in front of the house. And I made these out of coarse dirt blocks and spruce trap doors. Then we can add in oak leaves for the garden under the house. And I'm going to add in lanterns up top for lighting. Then add in three coarse dirt blocks, and this will be for a larger flower box. And we can use spruce trap doors around it. Also, we can use a shovel to convert the grass into pathways. And we can work on the landscaping in the backyard as well by using a shovel to make pathways and more oak leaves. And these oak leaves will look like hedges. Then we can add an extra oak leaves for the side of the house. And this will look like tall shrubs. Then just like the front of the house, we can add in flower pots for decoration. And we can add in more iron trap doors above the doors as well. Then at the side of the house, we can add in iron trap doors, and we can stagger them along the sides. And this is mainly for decoration, and you can leave these iron trap doors out if you don't like the look of them. Then inside, we can add additional lanterns up on the third floor. And this step continues with spruce trap doors at the side of the doors. Then three trap doors at the side, then another three at this side, and then we could place one trap door in the corner. And to add a trap door onto another trap door, you're gonna have to be in the crouch position. Then we can add another row of spruce trap doors above that. And then we can repeat in the back with two rows of decorative spruce trap doors. And don't forget, to add in the corner trap door, you're going to have to be in the crouch position. Otherwise, you won't be able to add a trap door to another trap door. Now at the side of the door, we can always add extra trap doors. And that'll create a different look. But we can also create a whole different look by removing it and adding trapdoors under the windows. But I'll let you decide on how you want to lay out your front door look. Step 9. Lastly is the interior, and I'll leave this completely up to you. However, I'll quickly show you a walkthrough of how I did mine. And I hope this will inspire you and give you ideas on how you can do your interior.
Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions about the build or would like to leave some feedback, I'd love to hear it. Also, make sure to subscribe because I create build tutorials just like this one every week. I'll catch you in the next one. Later guys. Want more build tutorials? I have many other playlists that might interest you on my channel. Make sure to check them out.